Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope you all are fine and doing well, inshallah. I am here with a new video and in this video I am going to discuss regarding zoology as a subject and then I will be discussing regarding the sub acceptance or branches of zoology. I will be discussing regarding the eligibility criteria set by the Higher Education Commission and the Higher Education Department for securing admissions in zoology. And at the end of my talk, I will be discussing regarding the scope of zoology, or you can say that I will be discussing the, regarding the job market of zoology as a subject. As we all know that biology deals with the scientific study of life and life exists in many forms. So there are many branches of biology, uh, such as zoology, uh, botany, microbiology, bacteriology, and virology and so on and so forth. However, among these subjects, zoology, botany and microbiology stand out to be the favorite subjects of the students as a good amount of students used to uh, secure admission in these fields and a huge amount of students, a huge number of students, uh, their desire to have their future in these subjects. Coming into zoology, uh, zoology is the branch of biology that deals with the scientific study of animals. Or we can say that in zoology, our study is mainly focused on animal kingdom. Uh, in zoology, we used to discuss different aspects of the animal's life. Uh, for example, we used to discuss, we used to think, we used to research, we used to question, and we used to investigate the bodily systems the structure and shape, the ecology, the health status, the nutrition, the breeding, uh, the genetics, and other such aspects of the animal's life. Uh, every year in these days, specifically when FSC results are declared, uh, most of the parents, most of my friends, most of the people in my social circle, they used to ask a question, a very similar question. Is zoology a good subject? To them, yes, a big yes. Zoology is a good subject and why I am saying so, I will be covering and answering and justifying my yes with, with logics in the preceding slides. So stay connected. Uh, now I'm going to discuss regarding the sub disciplines of zoology and we classify animals into vertebrates and invertebrates. So these slides are having those subjects where we are studying animals. Uh, those animals are basically vertebrates. For example, if we study fish, it's ichthyology. And there are different alternate, alternative uh, to ichthyology as a title, such as fisheries, fisheries biology, fisheries and aquaculture, sometimes aquaculture and fisheries, freshwater fisheries biology, and then we are having a list of other subjects based on vertebrates. For example, ornithology, study of birds, mammalogy, study of mammals, herpetology, study of amphibians and reptiles. And then uh, we are having different other subjects. Primatology deals with the study of primates, we are used to study the living and the extinct primates. Then we are having uh, different subjects based on different invertebrates. For example, the study of parasites, peristology. We are having the study of insects, entomology. We are having the study of nematodes or round worms, nematology. So Apart from these animals, uh, the subjects that are based on those animals, we are having different uh, branches of zoology where we deal different type of animals. Uh, for example, in taxonomy, we can have the taxonomy of fish, fish taxonomy, we can have the taxonomy of birds, birds taxonomy, and we are uh, having different uh, animals that can have uh, their own taxonomies as a specialized field. For example, fisheries, for example, fish. So we are having different fields. We are having taxonomy, zoography, zoo geography, ethology, animal physiology, anatomy, comparative anatomy, and sometimes the anatomy 
uh, that are dealing with animals refers to a zootono, zootomy. Then we are having pedozoology and we are having a number of other subjects, for example, morphology, zoometry, paleontology, ecology, behavioral ecology, endocrinology, comparative zoology, cell biology or cytology, uh, genetics, limnology, uh, cytology, embryology, biochemistry, and biophysics. So uh, I didn't uh, discuss these subjects in detail as we are having a sound knowledge of these subjects and we are having uh, these subjects uh, on internet. You can Google them uh, and you can uh, pause the slide, pause the video, and then have a look uh, regarding these, these subjects. Uh, what is the eligibility and duration for different degree programs? A lot of people, a number of uh, my friends used to ask this question. So for BS Zoology or BSc or Associate Degree of Science and Zoology, FSC Intermediate or Higher Secondary School Certificate with Biology is required. The duration of BS Honors in Zoology is four year, whereas the duration of uh, BSc or ADS in Zoology is two years. So you can have uh, your admission in any of uh, these programs after having your FSC with biology. For MSc in zoology, uh, Master of Science in zoology, or post ADP, uh, which is post associate degree program in zoology, you need to have a Bachelor of Science, a BSc uh, with zoology, or an associate degree of science uh, with zoology. The duration of MSc zoology or post ADP in zoology is two years. Uh, however, uh, as I told that you need to have these degrees with zoology, there are some universities, for example, the University of Education, where they ask uh, for the combination of zoology and chemistry uh, in order to secure admission in MSc zoology. If you want to secure your admission in MSc zoology or post ADP zoology, you need to have uh, both chemistry and zoology in your ADS or in your BSc. For MS or PhD in zoology, you need to have a BS honors or an MSc in zoology. Uh, and for a PhD, you need to have an MS in zoology. Uh, most of the times, I came across some students where they got their bachelor's in physiology or some other subjects, and then they seek admission in zoology with us, uh, and the university straight away uh, rejects their uh, application forms. So keep in mind, most of the universities are quite conservative as far as their degree programs are concerned. For example, the University of Education used to uh, avoid uh, students from other disciplines, such as uh, physiology, or such as from general biology, or such as from agriculture, such as from uh, fisheries, to be very like, precise. Uh, a number of times I came across this question. Well, my daughter or my son, my brother or my sister is going to secure admission in zoology, but we are afraid what will he or what will she have in her future? What is the job video? What is the job market uh, of zoology as a subject? So after having your degree in zoology, you can secure a job in different departments. For example, you can secure your future in academia. For example, if you got your PhD or MS or MPhil in zoology, you can have a position in universities. You can have the position of a lecturer after having your MPhil or after having your MS in zoology. And you can have a position of an assistant professor if you secure uh, your PhD in zoology. You can secure uh, a job, a position in a higher education department as a lecturer, for example, lecturer in a college. A college can be a degree college and a college can be a postgraduate college. Then you can secure your position in elementary and secondary department. You can secure a position ranging from a primary school teacher or elementary school teacher 
to a subject specialist. There are a number of positions in the elementary and secondary departments, such as primary school teacher, elementary school teacher in Punjab, uh, certified teacher, then uh, you have a uh, secondary school teacher, then you have positions of SS every year. Uh, apart from academia, you can secure your future in dedicated departments. For example, if you got your master's, if you got your bachelor's uh, degree with specializing in fisheries, you can secure your uh, future in fisheries department. Fisheries department is a very wealthy and a very lavish department. If you are having uh, research or specialized courses in your bachelor's of science uh, program or your master program, you can secure a position ranging from assistant director uh, to assistant research officer through public service commission. Assistant director fisheries or district officer fisheries uh, um, are um, a gazetted position and uh, these positions uh, are like uh, based on your performance in the public service commission. Then uh, assistant research officer is basically a BPS 16 position and you can secure this position after showing a strong performance uh, through public service commission. These positions are announced across all the provinces of Pakistan and there is a dedicated uh, department by the name of Pakistan Fisheries Board where you can secure different positions like directors, assistant directors, and you can secure your position as a uh, research officer. Then we are having uh, different departments, for example, uh, entomology, parasitology, epidemiology, and public health departments. In these departments, you can secure your future as district officers. You can secure your position for different research-based uh, positions. Uh, you can secure uh, your future as a district entomologist, as a medical entomologist, uh, which is a BPS-17 post. Then if you specialize with microbiology and biotechnology, you can have clinical laboratory positions, you can have your positions in pharmaceutical industry, you can have a job as an animal laboratory technologist. If you specialize in wildlife or ecology, uh, you can have different positions in the wildlife department. Uh, there are some positions dedicated in the forestry department for the wildlife section as well. So you can secure your position in the forestry department as well. You can secure the position of district wildlife officer. You can have the job of research officer wildlife. You can work in safari parks and you can work as a biodiversity conser conservationist or biodiversity conservation specialist. There are different uh, institutes, different organizations, different governmental and non-governmental organizations uh, that works for the conservation of biodiversity, uh, such as the IUCN. So you can secure your future in these uh, departments as well. After having your uh, degree in zoology, you can secure uh, assistant director position and the environment department, environmental protection agency to be very precise. However, there are some higher rank position as well, for example, deputy directors. If you are having your PhD in zoology or you are MPhil with extensive experience, then you can secure the position of the deputy director in the environment department. And similarly, you can work as an environment officer after having your degree in zoology. You can work out uh, for competitive exams, for example, the central superior services or the provincial management services, the CSS and the PMS. Uh, as zoology is a subject where you need to have strong communication skills, you need to have a uh, higher command on the seven C's of communication, where you used to be extensively academic, you need to have uh, scientific writing skills, and these skills can enhance your chances of securing uh, your future uh, in, in, at any of the managerial posts to CSS or PMS. And similarly, there are different positions, different gazetted posts post and positions that you can uh, have after securing your degree in zoology. 
These posts are often advertised uh, through public service commissions or federal public service commissions. For example, uh, you can secure your future as a district youth officer uh, after having your degree in zoology. Then you can join livestock department. One of my student, uh, students uh, recently uh, cleared public service commission for statistical officer in livestock department. So you can have your uh, future as a statistical officer in livestock department. Then you can secure your future through animal husbandry and through national animal farms. You can work for different research organizations. You can work as an editor, different type of editors there are. For example, you can work as a managing editor, you can work as a handling editor, you can work as an associate editor, and you can work as a editor in chief for different research journals. And some of the journals, some of the organizations uh, used to pay to their editors. So you can have your future as an editor. If you are having a sound research profile, even you can start your own research journal a quality research journal. Then you can secure your job in non-government organization. These organizations used to work for animal rights or biodiversity conservation and alike. You can have uh, your future as a journalist, a, as a wildlife photographer, as a wildlife journalist, for example. Uh, you can join journalism department where you will be focused on journalism related to animals. And then uh, as a zoologist, you will be having enough skills, enough scientific background to start your own business. Your business will be better than the people doing business in the same domain as their business is basically a business of a layman but your business will be based on scientific approach. You can have your business in aquaculture. You can have uh, the business of sericulture, apiculture, poultry farming, uh, cattle farming, and there are a number of other domains where you can establish your own uh, business. For example, animal nutrition. So, the future uh, of, of zoologists are, uh, is quite bright and uh, zoologists can have uh, their future in different fields. Hope this video helps and hope that uh, now you are having a clear idea of what will you do after having a degree in zoology. Now this slide is basically uh, defecting some universities offering uh, degrees, programs, and, and, and zoology. Uh, for example, Kaidiyazm University, Islamabad offers degree in zoology at bachelor's, master's, and doctoral levels. And then there are other universities as well. University of the Punjab, University of Peshawar, University of Karachi, Government College Universities in Lahore and Faisalabad, University of Education Lahore, where I used to teach Agriculture University, Faisalabad, Arid Agriculture University, Rawalpindi, and then there are some universities in the peripheries uh, in all the provinces of Pakistan where they are offering degrees in zoology. For example, in Punjab, Bahaudi, Zakriya University in Bhutan, University of Veterinary Animal Sciences, Paduk Campus, University of Gujarat, University of Sargoda, University of Miyawadi. And then we are having different universities in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, uh, such as Abdul Khan University, Hazara University, University of Malabar, Kohat University of Science and Technology, Shaheed Benazir Bhutto University, University of Sabad, University of Haribu, University of Sabad, and there are dozens of other universities that offer degrees in zoology. So best of luck, dear students, it's your time. Uh, study zoology with all your strengths and as far as the scope of any subject is concerned I strongly believe that if you study any subject with your full strength you will be having a better a beautiful and a prioritizing future inshallah so study zoology with your full strength with your full zest and zeal and secure a future for yourself the future is yours Thank you for your patience and hope that this video uh, helped you in having your decision and reviewing your decision of 
uh, securing admission in zoology.